Hi, I'm Dr. Tom Kohlers. I'm here in Puerto Rico in the mountains in central Puerto Rico to do a two-week field trial of ProVector, mosquito control device. And we're going to come back in seven months to see how, how effective ProVector was in reducing the mosquito population. As you can see from the panorama here, we're out in the middle of nowhere and it's very humid and very tropical. So we'll be able to test how well the ProVector holds up in this high humidity environment and how well it does in helping us control mosquitoes can carry pathogens such as dengue, West Nile virus, and malaria. We set up a simulated village using 14 tents and we've put ProVector inside each one of those tents to simulate a village with ProVectors inside a hut. So what we can do in seven months, we'll come back and see if we've reduced the mosquito population around that village. And what we'll do is we'll use surrounding hills to use as control sites to see how the ProVector village does against other field sites. And we'll use those CDC light traps to do that mosquito surveillance. Let me tell you a little bit about the ProVector. It's a mosquito control device. It's environmentally friendly and very cheap to produce. In the front here, you'll see black that's attracted to very many mosquito species and these different colors that are also attracted to different kinds of mosquitoes, such as Anopheles that carry malaria and Culex and Aedes species that carry different viruses, such as West Nile virus, dengue fever, and chikungunya viruses. So we've optimized this petal-like flower because mosquitoes feed on nectar sources and sugar solutions for energy to fly. They, the females feed on blood so that they can produce eggs. So we've imitated the flower sources for their energy. There's a little screen on the front here with very small holes in it that a mosquito's proboscis or mouth parts can feed, fit right through so they can feed, whereas uh, moths and flies and ants, they can't fit their heads or their mouth parts through, through those holes. So we've designed this to be economical and ecological. Here's a stem that clips in the back here. Then we have our solution that controls the mosquito. It contains Bacillus thuringiensis. This is an environmentally friendly biopesticide used to control mosquitoes. That fits right in the back. Snap on this clear plastic cover. And there's a hole here you can hang it from with a string or a nail, or you can uh, tie this to a stick close to your home. And there you have the ProVector. I'm Dr. Stephen Hatfill. I'm a medical doctor and a virologist. We've come out here to essentially virgin subtropical rainforest to give the ProVector device a good test. Arthropod, insect-borne, parasitic, and viral diseases account for some up to 30 million deaths in the world. Some of the viruses, such as Venezuelan equine encephalitis, the alpha viruses, have an untoward mortality in children due to their replication effects on the brain. The world desperately needs a low-cost third world solution to insect control. In the 60s and 70s, we tried DDT, the insects adapted. Malaria control is a joke in much of the world. So we're about hoping what we've done here is simulate a African village with tents in a small clearing. And we've put the ProVector devices inside this. And hopefully over the next six months, we'll see the uh, biting mosquito population drop to what would be considered below the level for transmission of viral diseases and malaria.